Hey, hello everyone. Um, today we are going to see the SQL Server 2014 CTP installation. Uh, th this is um, a CTP version, so just as, you, as, as a reminder, you have to have a clean machine to install. It means you you gotta get a version of Windows, which of course uh, the CTP installation supports, and do not have anything else installed about SQL Server products, any Visual Studio, SQL Server 2008, 2005, and so on. So this is a clean machine that I just built. Now we are going to install SQL Server 2014. <coughs> Uh, I'm not going with cluster installation right now. Let's go with a, um, a standalone installation to be faster and and see if anything changed from SQL Server 2012 to 2014. Okay, so here we have the first uh, rule is that we, we that SQL Server checks uh, I was talking about the clean machine here we go uh, no version of Visual Studio that installs SQL Server client library if you have any Visual Studio or SQL Server installed in this in your machine that you're going to install SQL 2014 CTP it's not a rule for SQL Server installation this is for CTP version. Uh, you are not going. Uh, it's not going to be possible to install. So you gotta get the clean machine. These two rules will block your installation. There are no SQL products other than SQL. So it based based both checking points. All right. So let's hit little. <coughs> sorry. Let's hit hit OK. And then here we go. Um, this is a free edition, so we get the evaluation here. And I have any product key here. So next, accept the terms. I will not send anything right now because I'm getting really bad connection. Next again. All right. So after um, passing some rules to be checked we paste it all we have one warning here about the firewall I you uh, perform any further configuration after the installation it will not lock our uh, progress on our installation so never mind about it click next and then we can <coughs> keep any of these pick any of these three uh, options. I'm going with SQL Server feature installation to install the SQL engine, analysis, and integration service. That those are the three uh, tools I like and I use most. So I'm going to select everything for SQL engine service, analysis service. Then I will add my client tools. Well, I have to go through some. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, so hit next. All right, so here are three more rules. We pasted all of them. Hit next. And here is one of the most important. Um, configuration we gotta do is to, to choose between default instance or name it instance let's go with name it instance here I will uh, I will name my instance as SQL 2014 CTP <coughs> I will leave C as SQL home and then next. <clears throat> All 
All right, so here we, we check whether or not to have the required space. We have a lot of space here. So let's hit next. If you are going to use any specific ser uh, service account login, you, you gotta change. If not, just leave as default. The recommendation is uh, the least privilege. Always search for having service account logins for your SQL service. So I'm not going under the best practice here because it's a local. I'm not going to use it for production. It's just for some, just for an overview about the product. So let's hit next here. <clears throat> I will use mixed mode. Depending upon the needs of your customer, your needs, you gotta uh, pick Windows authentication mode. If you have any application that doesn't support the Windows authentication mode only, then you you gotta check mixed mode and then use mixed mode. Here I'm going to set the password for the essay. So I put one that is easy to me, but hard, hard to the to any hacker trying to to get an advantage from my virtual machine. So I'm adding my <coughs> QHAT user. The data directories I am using to create mounted volumes to my data. So here I did not have anything but I will create a new folder SQL DBase and this one will be my mounted volume for my database of course it's not a mounted volume it's I am just pretend it is <clears throat> so okay, let let me open here and then I do this. For everything, C slash C code DBs will be my director. This is for analysis service. I always will install using multidimensional, but you also can. Uh, pick double R mode, so that is up to you. I will add the current user to be administrator in analysis service so that you can uh, add more people later or do whatever you want in the instance. <clears throat> Data directories, I will add. <clears throat> Uh, ASDBs <clears throat> okay there we go here we go alright hit next I'm not saying anything. <clears throat> Hit next. It's always good. You you have to check everything that uh, SQL Server checks because if anything goes wrong, you have the answer for everything. Once again, we paste it all. I'm not uh, <clears throat> going to read anything. Because we're going with uh, with a CTP installation, it's not production, so doesn't matter what those things are. But you gotta check. Do not forget. It's good to know every step SQL takes. <clears throat> then hit next, and then here we go. We have the configuration configuration file ready to be installed. 
every single configuration we did here we were working to get one file built. Let me show you where it is. Now on SQL Server we'll look to this file and then we'll install SQL Server. It is called the configuration file which we have all parameters so that you can get all these things here chained anything that you you judge necessary to create a new instance just by going to an uh, AC <coughs> CMD from DOS prompt and and perform an unattended installation of SQL Server. Uh, this video will not explain about the configuration file and attend installation so uh, you can check further about this but let's hit install it's just to let you curious and then you go after getting uh, the answers you need for understand the unattained installation as well. Alright, I'll pause the video here and then we'll be back when SQL Server is installed on this machine, okay? See ya in a minute. Alright, after some minutes, here we are with all components and SQL Server 2014 installed. As you can see, everything succeeds that's awesome isn't it all right now I will close it cool so <coughs> let's open SQL Server 2014 so that you can see a little bit And I'm sorry for the delays. I, I've configured this machine with 8 gigabytes of memory. I'm probably it's taking some time. It's not memory at all, let me see. No memory at all. It's disk contention. That's the worst thing here in virtual machines when you are using only one disk. Alright, so here we are with SQL Server 2014 installed. Let me turn the SQL agent on. Everything here is exactly the same what we have on SQL 2012, they're always on and so on. Let's see here properties, memory, security, data settings. Oh, one, one good thing is on the prior uh, SQL 2005, we had only date and log and now we have SQL 2005 and 2008 we had only data and log and now we have the backup so it's great to see here we can change at any time and then um, SQL Server will start running using these, uh, this path to create any data log and backup a lot of configuration, plan of them are of course to support the new features and actually that we have so nothing new and that's it folks um, soon I will come up with a new SQL Server 2014 installation but in a clustered environment thank you all for time here and patience. See you, bye-bye.